much. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. All right. Oh. You know, I haven't been doing this. Am I supposed to be doing roll call? You or the board secretary should. Okay. What's up? Roll call. Oh. <laughs> I, I have roll called you. <laughs> it was something we had to do virtually because you right. couldn't see each oh, other. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. In person. If you're comfortable, I'll just do Okay. It okay. And let me just address the, the, the committee. My apologies. Um, I was waiting for Kathy to send along a copy of the agenda because she has the last three <laughs> meetings. Yep. Nothing ever came. That's why you got at the very last minute. My apologies for that. Thank you for getting one out. We it's appreciate posted. it. Uh, you know she has the wrong time on it. I took the time from the last one. Oh, okay. I just copied nope. over last meeting's agenda, which did start at 6. Oh, this one says 6.30. 6.30? Yeah. You, right, you have the right time yeah, on right. here. Yeah. All good. Yeah. Okay. All and right. thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Anyway, um, I'm assuming Kathy is still in the loop, or are there Ka Kathy is still in the loop. Uh, I would say the handoff from June to July and Mark to me, um, maybe something fell through the crack. Okay. Well, what I've done in the past is drafted something, and then she has sat down with the with a clique of the gang of four and you know get it back to me to post so we we look forward to doing a year-long calendar of those meetings yeah. mm -hmm. so that we are always yeah. on track for getting notice out okay agenda adjustments anybody have any agenda adjustments under informational Holloway Johnson, I believe, or is that a mm. new music teacher and Jay Sanborn is resigning. Informational is Jay Sanborn. Okay. That's usually where we put that. And okay. And I think for right now, Holloway is informational too, and we'll vote at the end of the summer on everybody we've hired. Okay. Okay. All right. So we don't actually have to. You don't have to act on that now. Okay. And one of you can do that in your report. Okay. All right. So seeing none, no agenda adjustments. Uh, don't have to approve a revised agenda. Minutes. All right. So has everybody had an opportunity to go through the minutes of the regular school committee meeting June 22nd? These are the same minutes you sent us, right, Alan? Mm -hmm. I've already yeah. gone through these. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there was one item uh, under adjustments to the agenda on the first page, the second motion to move item 16 executive session to the next meeting. That would be tonight. Mm -hmm. I didn't put it on the agenda because I wasn't sure if you still needed that. Not tonight. Not Good call. Tonight. Okay. It, it will be on the agenda, I believe, next meeting. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So, if you want to make a note of that. I will. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Um, personal matters, the usual thing? Yeah. Okay. Make a motion to accept the Committee meeting minutes of June 22nd as written. I'll second it. Okay, we. Does anybody have any discussion? No. Seeing none, all in favor? Okay. All right. Do we have a presentation or report tonight? 
Um, public comments on agenda items. Oh, where's public comments? Oh, did I miss it? Oh, mm -hmm. I just checked it off. I checked the wrong one off. Mr. McGregor. I'm on the off agenda. He's oh, you're the non agenda. Thing. Okay. <laughs> Are there any other public comments? Anybody want to make a public comment on agenda items? Okay. All right. And no presentation. No presentations or reports. Report. Superintendent's report. Thank you. Um, just a few updates. We, as you know, have been dealing with a water quality issue. Um, we had a test where copper um, parts per million was slightly above the state uh, level. And we are in the process of engaging somebody to build a mitigation um, system for us. And then Barbara Nichols felt that she was getting to the point where she was um, not best able to serve the district's needs as our point person. So we are going to sign a contract to um, engage a water operator, water quality operator, who will come in four times a year. They'll be responsible for um, supporting our report and interaction with the state uh, monitoring test results, making sure the system that we design is doing what it should. Uh, looks like the cost would be about um, eight hundred dollars a year, but I'll keep you posted. It's within budget, mm -hmm. um, so just keeping you updated on that. I also sent around an email to all of you about the Maine School Board Association um, looking for a representative to be part of their um, delegate assembly. It's not mandatory. Some districts um, send a board member to be part of that. Some don't. The information is there. You have until October to decide. Um, I'm happy to answer questions about that if you have them uh, tonight or as it comes up. And third item, we have um, asked the reopening committee from last year to meet again on August 3rd uh, at 4.30, and we note that 5 o'clock would be a better time for working people, so Kirsten was <laughs> right on that one. But <laughs> four, 4.30 was, was, was for me, um, and 5 is fine as well, it doesn't matter. So okay. um, we'll pull that committee back together. We hope to bring the board a reopening plan recommendation for the August 10th meeting. Um, that's our goal. And um, we're looking forward to that. And then I received a thank you, thank you note from Kathy Harmon um, because of the school board's retirement gift. She Thanks us for the one. Thanks you for the wonderful retirement celebration. Truly memorable and very thoughtful of you all. Um, thank you for the gift card to Bridgeton Books for Teacher Appreciation Week. She loved picking out the new books. Love Kathy. So nice. thank you all. Nice. Nice. And the last piece of the report. Um, because Jason Schoolcraft has left the district, the Operations Committee will be looking for another parent. So if members of the school board would be interested in sending me suggestions, um, I will take those into consideration as we look to fill a parent slot on the operations committee. And the um, current target is to have the operations committee meet before the, the August 10th school board meeting and get back in that cycle. They're going to meet before the August 10th meeting? The, we, the Operations Committee has met at 4 o'clock on right. school board nights. Right. So do you want them on the 10th? I, I emailed, I emailed Grove today. Oh, you did? I did. <laughs> did you email him in my, was it? I can't answer that question, Wendy. I had the, <laughs> I, I, he gave me his business card and I used the email address on Oh, that. okay. That's the right one. Okay. okay. <laughs> Um, anyway, asking if, sure. asking if he wants to do August 10th, and we'll oh, get okay. going. I'm glad to know. I'll remind him to read that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
try, I'm trying to have some separation here. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and that concludes superintendent's report. <laughs> okay. Principal's report. All right. Um, There you go. <laughs> um, the summer school is going well. The kids are enjoying themselves and we have had pretty consistent attendance. Tomorrow, um, as an example of some of the things they're doing, the students who are working with Mrs. Harmon will be doing some experiments with waves um, and writing about their findings. There's going to be a little kiddie pool with water. She serves me, we'll all be outside. Um, our new custodian, Dave Brown, has been working hard getting the school ready to reopen. He also repaired the ceiling that was damaged by the burst pipe that's in the hallway outside of Miranda Facciano's uh, room. Um, the biggest cleaning projects left are the art room and the cafeteria, and those are really the big ones. Uh, as I shared a few minutes ago, our lead driver, Jay Sanborn, has given his notice. Mm -hmm. This is devastating mm -hmm. news because he's been an incredible asset to us. I have posted for a new bus driver on the website the school sign, you may have noticed that, and servingschools.org. I asked um, Michelle Stowes to take over as our lead driver. Um, and Jay, he, we're just really going to miss him. As soon as he said, well, I wanted to do this in person. Oh, <laughs> that's never a good statement. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Let's see. We are hiring Haloy Johnson to be our new music teacher for one day a week. We worked with SAD 61 to hire a music teacher. They were struggling to hire someone for three days a week, and we couldn't find anyone for one day a week. So we worked together, and once we combined our efforts, we found a wonderful candidate. The kids are going to love her. We are still looking for a half-time special education teacher, which I reposted today. So that's it. I just got back from Colorado <coughs> Saturday, so. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean Jenny Null is done? Oh, no, 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 no Jenny, oh. Jenny Null is oh, still here as the instrumental teacher, but oh. she only does instrumental. Yeah, okay. She doesn't do classroom teaching. Oh, okay. yeah. So, yeah, Jenny's not going anywhere. Okay, good. She loves working here. Yeah, that's what I was <laughs> Yeah. She retired and stayed with us. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. That's you, what I have. And you'll send it to me, right? Yes. That's Thank why that's did. on my phone. Okay. I will send it to you. My little portable <laughs> laptop. Here we go. Hello. If we could get the superintendent to do the same thing. The superintendent asked whether he should prepare a written one, but you will get it. <laughs> it would make my life so much easier. I, it, there is nothing, Alan, that I would rather do than make your life easier, and I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'll let the record show. <laughs> oh, okay. Action items. We have nothing listed. Policies, and actually those were first reads. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And these were the holdovers from last time. They, they've been held over a, more than that, I think. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they've, For but years. I'm not sure we actually ever did a first read until tonight, but we finally did, so yay. Yeah. Um, okay, so first reads on video surveillance on school property and earned paid leave. Do I hear a motion to accept these as first reads? I make a motion to accept them as written as first reads. Second it. Okay. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Okay. So we'll bring okay. that back as a second read next time. How's that? Excellent. <laughs> good. Sounds good. Okay, moving on. Discussion items. We have nothing listed under discussion items. Um, yeah, we could probably just make a note that at least one of us will be listening in with um, Dr. Shaw on Thursday morning about reopening and yeah. what the recommendations are. So. Mm -hmm. So that would be of interest. Um, all right. We're up to public comments on non-agenda items. Uh, Mr. McGregor. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, 
<coughs> given that the president has uh, recommended and I think instructed the Board of Education or the Department of Education and the teachers unions have uh, said that they would back it. I was wondering how the board feels about uh, the teaching of the critical race theory. Well, anybody have any comments on that? I'd rather not comment about it right now. Um, I, I would just say that we are a pre-K through grade five school. We're a community school. We're dealing with young children and the curriculum as it stands currently is in the student's best educational interests for learning literacy, math, science, all the things that need to be learned so that they can end up moving on to middle and high school, hopefully college, and becoming well-educated individuals. I think that sounds terrific. Um, however, the push for critical race theory is coming down through the grade schools down to kindergarten. And it is not, I think, in the best interest of students mm -hmm. to be taught that there are victims and oppressors, and that white people are oppressors, and brown and dark colored people are oppressed. I don't think that does the world any good, doesn't do the students any good, and certainly doesn't help our educational system provide the kind of education that you just spoke of. We have a small community here, which is actually quite diverse. I would say our student population is quite diverse. It's gotten increasingly diverse the yeah. longer I've been here. Yeah, and as far as I know, we do not subscribe to any curriculum teaching critical race theory at this time. Um, I think it's, I, I don't know how teachers feel about it. I don't know how anybody else up here feels about it, but I think right now our curriculum is doing a fantastic job of educating our students, and that is the point of why we're oh, here. Absolutely. So anything that would detract from that would not be something I personally would vote for. So, I'm glad to hear that. Um, but I do believe in diversity, and I think we've done a good job in this town of that. Yep. Yeah. I was going to ask David and Kirsten because Jock and I talked, and, and uh, have you heard anything about the federal government or the Department of Education mandating that this will be taught or else finance, federal funds will be withheld? No, we re we've reviewed the current federal funding through the titles through ESSA um, for the coming year. There's nothing in there. There are no sign offs. I didn't like think that. there was, but I couldn't say that to, to you because I didn't know for right. sure. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that would be the budget that exists now. This was just something that was introduced in the last month by the president to the Board of Education or to the Department of Education uh, on a federal level. And they're supposed to be actively pushing it into the states. If the state came down with a mandate, what is the figure that we actually get for funding from the state of Maine? Approximately. Could, couple well, hundred, well, couple hundred thousand. Receivers. We're minimum receivers. It's approximately so. a quarter of a million. Cu couple hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand is what we get from them. The, the title it's grants that we get, it's 35,000. It's, it's a drop in the bucket for what our overall right. budget is. Yeah, so that wouldn't be a big threat hanging over our heads but here in Sebago. And, and let me say this, if it's not, there's no point in discussing it now because there is no mandate. So I think that it's, I think that's really just something that, you know, when it comes to politics, I think that we should keep that out of our school board meeting unless, there's, a, the ex, unless there's an absolute 
mandate that we have to do something. Is that no. correct? Because we, know, by, by the time it becomes an absolute mandate, it may be too late. <coughs> so oh, you don't care? Well, I think that it's not appropriate to discuss it until Why we have to, it, until it becomes it an issue. It certainly is appropriate to discuss what might be coming down on the horizon in terms of what is being done educationally within our community. I was taught that the Society of the Jesuits were primarily responsible for the benefits to the, I'll call it, American Indian tribes in the United States because they brought God to them. Okay. And your it's not real. And you're saying the CRT isn't real? I'm, I'm just saying at this point in time, it's no point in discussing it because you really don't know what it is. I do know what it is. Well, I've read it and I don't know what it is. Well, then you might want to read a little bit of Marx and read on Columbia and the Frankfurt School of uh, Marxism and the New School in New York and Dewey and a few other people like that. You might find it. It's very interesting reading. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the the stand that we'll take as a school committee is that we are not currently teaching critical race theory. We don't have a plan to teach critical race theory. If it becomes some kind of a mandate, we have options and we would discuss all of our options okay. to see where we stood. I'm sure that would include the um, people of the town of Sebago because this would be affecting their children. Exactly. And it's the parents who need to be able to make those decisions. Absolutely. So. Uh, the, the real problem with the critical race theory and other programs like that is that they're taking away from the parents the decisions about the education of their children and putting it in the hands of bureaucrats who are nowhere near that community. So thank you for your comments. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. Information items. Do we have anything other than okay. future meetings? Um, on August 10th, we have a workshop scheduled from. I thought we scheduled that at 6:30. We did. Okay. Yeah, so that will change that. So which time do you want to put down? 6.30 to 7.30. Okay, that's for the August 10th. That's for the August 10th mm -hmm. workshop. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, normally we do 5.30 to 6.30 when it's before a regular meeting, but we're not actually having a meeting that night. And then August 24th, we're doing a school committee meeting at 6.30 here in the library. And by then, we should know what we're doing for a reopening plan. Great. So that'll be good. Okay. Is the workshop going to be here or in the conference room? <sighs> Probably the conference room. Okay. Unless, it, will it be public? It's always public. Right. So will if it be the public attends, then we can have it here. Okay. I don't think anybody from the public has attended any of our policy workshops yet. Yeah, we know. We'll start on the policy manual all over again. Uh, that was oh, so that fun. one. There's the door. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> did, did I miss? No, thank you. Yes, you misspoke. <laughs> we do not want to start uh, on the policy manual. Yeah, you get to go round and round and round on oh it all the time. Oh <laughs> and we're never done with policies, there are always more. Um, okay, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second? Second. Okay, any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Okay, great. There we go.